A phase change is a physical process by which a substance goes from one phase to another phase. Now, let's look at melting, freezing, vaporization, and condensation. Melting is the process by which a solid becomes a liquid. And in this process, energy input is required. So the process is endothermic. Melting is endothermic. The enthalpy of fusion is simply the energy input required to melt something. And this guy is the same as this guy. So it's also positive. So in melting, the potential energy of our substance, of our solid, is increased. And the intermolecular bonds connecting the solid are broken. So that eventually they can become liquid molecules. So, freezing is the opposite of melting. Freezing is the process by which a liquid becomes a solid. In this process, internal energy of our system, of our liquid, decreases until eventually it becomes a solid. That means energy is released into the environment. Okay, so it's exothermic. So the enthalpy of freezing is negative. It's the same magnitude as the enthalpy of fusion, but it's negative. So, now let's look at vaporization. Vaporization is the process by which a liquid becomes a gas. And in this situation, energy input is also required, just like in melting. And that's because the potential energy of the bonds is required to increase. So energy input into our system from the environment is required. So the enthalpy of vaporization is positive. Now let's look at condensation. Condensation is the opposite of vaporization. It's the, pro it's the process by which a gas molecule goes back into the liquid state. And condensation, just like freezing, is exothermic. When a gas becomes a liquid, energy is released into the environment because the internal energy of our system decreases. So energy is released and the change in enthalpy of condensation is negative. 